First Alert Weather with meteorologist John Hickey. Good morning, now 7.15 on a Sunday morning, a lovely start to the day. In fact, as we take a peek outside out of the Echo Leahy Center for Lake Champlain and Canberra, just a few clouds and even a few people out and about already. Of course, that's going to be the place to be this evening. You've got Cat Wright playing the boathouse from 8 to 9.30, the fireworks display, and then Cat Wright again at the boathouse after the fireworks display. If you're planning on just heading out on the water today, great day for that too. A lot of sun, less windy than yesterday, but still a little bit breezy with that wind out of the west at about 5 to 15 knots. Uh, temperature on the water about 75 degrees. The water temperature now at 67 and with a little bit of wave action. Not a bad day for some kiteboarding. Heading out to some fireworks displays for tonight. Things are shaping up nicely. We'll have some extra clouds. Far northern communities you may find a brief sprinkle, but that chance seems like an outside chance. Just some increased clouds. The rest of us should be just high and dry. In fact, just about all of us should be dry. Temperatures pretty comfortable too, as you saw. This is a look at temperatures now. 61 Burlington, 63 in Plattsburgh, 61 Montreal, a 59 at Montpelier, and a 58 at Newport. Still looking at some middle 50s as you head down towards the Connecticut River Valley. First alert storm tracker. Relatively quiet locally outside of this area of low pressure spinning around this next little disturbance and it's that guy there over my left shoulder that will try to bring us that sprinkle chance. It's a real small one. I think the better bet will be just some increased cloud cover taking you to the afternoon and the evening. But beyond that, things are looking good and currently things are looking pretty good too. Hardly a cloud in the sky. Here's your afternoon forecast high temperature map around the region we go from 80 in Messina to 79 at E-Town, 82 Ticonderoga. Good morning to you. 79 at Plattsburgh later today and 74 up on the hill at Botanamora. Now, Northeast Kingdom, some middle 70s across Route 2 to Danville. It's 76 to 78 at St. Johnsbury, 80 St. Albans and Burlington. Connecticut River Valley will be a warm place today. Some low 80s, very seasonable for this time of year under that partly cloudy sky. And Southern Vermont, too, right around 80 degrees. In fact, there will be some 80s. Look at that right in a row from Springfield to Ludlow and to uh, Rutland and Castleton all checking in at about 80 degrees. Forecast for tonight dipping down to the upper half of the 50s, 59 the forecast low, clearing out through the overnight, setting the stage for a really nice day on Independence Day. So this is for tonight. There's that little shower chance trying to develop, but there's so much dry air in place. I think that thing really dries up as it tries to get here. For tomorrow, it's all about the sunshine. The temperature's a little bit warmer. You're going to start to notice the humidity is going to start to creep up here tomorrow, more so through the middle portions of the week and when we're going to really have the muggies around, especially by Wednesday. This is a look at the fourth forecast. A lot of sunshine around noontime and then great for the fireworks displays. Of course, Plattsburgh has one coming up for Monday night. Night. I'll see you at the parade in Plattsburgh actually on Monday. Here's your forecast for the week ahead from 80 today to 84 tomorrow. A chance for a passing shower south on Tuesday, but that seems like an outside shot too. Better bet for some wet weather for the end of the week coming in the form of showers and storms.